Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about present perfect tense. In this video, I'm going to talk about its structure, usage and indicators. It's going to be very helpful for all the students who are preparing for their competitive exams because students, they normally get confused between which tense to be used, present perfect or simple past. So to start with the structure, its structure is subject and it will take has or have as a helping verb plus third form of the main verb. So he, she can be replaced by any name also. It, I, you, they, we, they all can act as subject and they will take has or have according to the subject. Plus it will take third form of the verb. So I have just finished my assignment. I is the subject have as a helping verb and finishes the main verb, third form of the verb and my assignment. Assignment is a noun. So uh, the work has been completed, but I have just finished my assignment. He has already left for school. So he is the subject, has is there and then left is the third form of the verb. They have not reached here yet. They is the subject then we use have and then reached as third form of the verb. So uh, usage is very important. You should know where it is used. It is used when we say something has happened. It is usually a new information like, ouch, I have cut my finger. So you have realized it and you're announcing it. I have lost my key. Again, announcement, something has happened, right? So when action got completed recently, it is also used there when action got completed recently, like they have just left for Delhi, I have just finished my homework, she has just arrived, right? So when action gets complete, uh, has got completed recently, we use present perfect tense. Then it is used for action, that is uh, where action is more important than time. The journalist has brought unsung heroes to the limelight. So over here, journalist has brought unsung heroes to limelight. That is more important rather than when. India has contributed immensely to science and technology. The action is more important than the time. Now indicators are really important over here. So indicators are going to help you in determining that which tends to be used, whether present perfect or simple past. So the words which act as indicators over here are just already yet. I have just seen her. So just is an indicator. So wherever you feel that confused that whether it should take simple past or it should take present perfect. So these are the indicators which can really help you in choosing the right kind of tense. I have just seen her. I have already watched this movie. I have not told him yet. So just already yet are indicators for using present perfect tense. So where not to use, it's a big, big no, wherever there is a time reference of the past, you should not use present perfect tense. Like I have met him yesterday. So the yesterday over here is a time reference from the past. So we cannot use present perfect. So it is grossly wrong. It is incorrect. So it should take, I met him yesterday, not I have met him yesterday. Similarly, he has been to Kashmir in 2016. Now, 2016 is a year from the past. So it is wrong. It is incorrect. We sh it, um, the sentence should be like, he went to Kashmir in 2016. Similarly, I have uh, completed my schooling in 2010 is incorrect. It should be, I completed my schooling in 2010. So friends, uh, I hope you have liked my video. If you have liked my video, please share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.